it's it's evolved into a new day that part of the world kind of got okay get that out of your system and now let's settle down and so we settled down and then all of a sudden they started saying whoo marijuana is going to be legalized yay and let's go get some brownies but i think that the majority of people have realized that that's not necessarily what hemp is there are so many medical benefits from hemp i um i know a lady i, I had uh, was having really bad headaches and she said let me go get some CBD oil. I've got some in my, and she comes in with this little little thing of CBD oil and it's kind of like, she's like, just rub it on your temples. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing. So I learned about something that I didn't know anything about, which was the CBD oils and ointments. And now they've also got the, the CBD oils that you can put on your tongue. And you, it's, the medical end of it is, I think it's in a, uprising or a new uh, beginning to pharmaceuticals there's it's not like you're taking some heavy metal you know something it's a very mild um, pharmaceutical that is very very uh, beneficial and when people get past the fact that it's CBD they they go this is really pretty good and I think that's going to be the thing with hemp too I think they hear the word hemp and they go oh this must be bad. And it's, they've got to get past that. And my generation, you've got two groups here, the same two groups you had back in the 60s. They're right here. And they're out getting their brownies while the others are going like, wow, this is our, our world. This is our environment. We're, we can save the world. We can save the trees. We can, you know, improve the economy. So I think that there's two groups. There'll always be two groups at least. And so... And then I think there's a group in the middle that's kind of like, mm, I don't know, maybe, mm, I don't know. so they need to get educated. And I think the more we educate people, the more they're going to realize that that um, hemp is not necessarily Mary Jane. I, I will have to tell you a story that I was, uh, like I said, I was a very naive little Southern Baptist girl, and I was having my students, my high school boys. Um, develop a, a budget. I said, you, you've got jobs, you need to have budgets. And so you've got to budget, for, and all of them were budgeting. You know, they had their rent, they had their car, they had their gas, they had Mary Jane. And all of them, <laughs> had, and I was like, okay, who is Mary Jane? And they were like, you don't know Mary Jane? And I was like, do I want to know Mary Jane? I was kind of a little bit leery of it, but turns out that's how I found out about Mary Jane. And um, I told them they could not budget for Mary Jane because she was not going to be coming to my class. So that was the end of that. But I think the more you get educated, the better off you are. So uh, you two, it's an excellent thing. I think the clubhouses, if you're interested in anything, just about, I'm sure there's a clubhouse for you. But And I think that's a really good way for people to interact. So, yep. Anything uh, else you want? <laughs> I'm sure more stories will come as the day goes on. Uh, you want to pass the mic over to, to Dad and let you give an introduction, and then you know the um, you know I know Dad's background was in, and, uh, in agriculture and the pursuits thereof, and then we've had a couple of businesses that man managed materials and large stockpiles of things that move uh, throughout the, this part of the state. You know, big trucks, and um, we we do a lot of that, and so. Um, so, Dad, tell us your perspective on um, all the things that are going on 